Hey, happy Friday. Good morning. Rise and shine. Let's have some coffee or some morning hot tea or whatever your favorite morning beverage is. Let's go. Ah. Well, uh, tom- tomorrow, excuse me, Monday I go to see my neurologist. I haven't seen this person yet. Um, I think that uh, that meeting is for uh, 9 o'clock, I think, 9, 11, somewhere. I'll have to look on my calendar. Never thought I'd have a calendar with all these dates with uh, my people. I got people, <laughs> my specialists and my doctors and oh. But uh, I got a call yesterday on my voicemail from uh, Dr. Charles' office and my uh, physician's assistant. She's very happy with my blood pressure. And uh, I, well, I shouldn't say very happy. She's happy that it's lower. And the voicemail said, continue doing what you're doing. Keep taking your medication. So I'm doing that. I'm getting better, you know. Uh, let's see, Monday I got n- neurologist, today I got to stop in uh, at Dr. Charles' office to have my blood pressure checked, and then Wednesday, right now anyway, I'm supposed to go in and see Dr. Charles, he, they're going to do a, a blood workup, I believe. They wanted to give it a little bit of time for this new medication to be in my system, so they wouldn't get a false reading. You people that are on this medication, you know all about this. <laughs> and again, this is all new to me. It's a brand new journey. You know? <laughs> so, And then uh, later on today, uh, after I see Dr. Charles, since I'm in that neck of the woods, I'm going down the road a piece, and I'm going to get my sausage sandwich <laughs> and my small Coca-Cola. Then I'll go next door and uh, maybe get some French fries. We'll see. Cheers and nuts throw you. Uh, what's your plans for the weekend? My plans, uh, all weather permitting, I got my, bought my chicken yesterday at uh, Boyer's. Uh, tell my sister Mary I'm eating chicken for a weekend, all right? She's concerned about uh, my diet and my intake of red meats. So I'm doing chicken. And I don't mind chicken. I could eat chicken seven days a week, really, you know. Uh, But I'm letting it uh, soak as we speak in uh, um, vinegar and uh, kosher salt. That's my brine. I got it sitting there. uh, Well, it'll be over 24 hours when I get ready to cook it up. Uh, And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. If you haven't done a brine for your chicken or poultry, uh, whether it be turkey, whatever, uh, try uh, brine, brining your your poultry, your chicken, your turkey overnight, preferably uh, up to and including 24 hours, at least four hours, all right? It makes a world of difference. It gets a lot juicier and uh, oh, real good. And uh, when you brine it that way, uh, you can use apple cider vinegar. You can use, uh, what, which this time I have uh, distilled vinegar. I'm going to use it, and I've used in the past uh, red wine vinegar, I think they call it. But I couldn't get any of that this, uh, well, yesterday, all right? All they had were the little bottles instead of, like, uh, uh, half-gallon bottles, you know? And the little bottles are just a little bit too expensive for my taste, okay? So uh, I'm, uh, I got the, the vinegar in a Ziploc bag, or you can put it in a bowl if you want, whatever you want to do, and uh, kosher salt mixed in with it, about a cup of kosher salt, all right, and, and just let it uh, uh, brine overnight, or four hours, all right, then take it out, and uh, rinse it off, and pat it dry with a paper towel, and then uh, start your uh, cooking in the oven, or as, as I prefer, on a charcoal grill, and it'll make a world of difference for you, trust me, try it and let me know what you think, right, um, especially your white meat, oh, I'll tell you what, it makes it real juicy, it really does, 
and it doesn't give it that salty taste. So don't think it gets overbearing with salt. No, it doesn't. Cheers. Uh, okay, that's all I had to say today. Uh, Sir Prince is uh, laying there looking at me uh, like we got to get ready and go. So uh, I'm going to clean up here and uh, get my shower and stuff and uh, shave a little bit for my ladies at uh, Dr. Charles. And I'll go and see them. And uh, then I'll hit the road to uh, Crossroads uh, Farmer's Market or uh, Gratz uh, Auction, whatever you want to call it, you know. And I'll get my uh, sausage sandwich. And I'll see all my my old geezer friends that are hanging out down there. And uh, I blend right in with them, you know. I hope you have a great day today. Hope you have a great weekend. Let me know what your plans are for the weekend. It's supposed to be dreary and, and raining here in central Pennsylvania. But uh, we'll weather through it. I can, I can cook in a rain. And it's, it's going to be up in the 30s. 30-ish, so uh, I'll grill then, you know, it won't be too bad, I'll have my Weber kettle charcoal grill going, yep I will, and I'll have a hunk of uh, probably um, pecan wood this time for my chicken, alright, and that's about it, maybe I'll go over to Boyer's and, and get me a, uh, a mini watermelon, or maybe I'll get that today at the... Uh, uh, farmer's market. We'll see. But I got my uh, Valentine's candy yesterday for my lady or ladies. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I asked Carol, I said, you taking your candy to work? Okay, yes, I am. So. so I gave it to her early and I did tell her, I'm not going to get you cards. She goes, I know that. You know, of course, I didn't have to get the candy either, but I kind of like chocolate. And if she don't eat it all, I'll get it, you know? <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you all, all of you later on. Oh, uh, speaking of chocolate, I'm going to try my uh, my um, speech therapist, uh, Susan. I'm going to try to death by chocolate cake, all right? She gave me a recipe, and I'm going to try it. I got some uh, uh, three-part chocolate cake. All right, it's a dark chocolate, and then it's got the the uh, regular chocolate mixed in it, and it's real moist. It's almost like a wacky cake, if you guys know what a wacky cake is, all right? But then you mix in a, a chocolate pudding. I've got a chocolate pudding cake, and I'm going to mix the two together, half of the ingredients, half of the ingredients, to make one complete ingredients. And I'll put in my uh, cake pan or whatever. I, I got a, uh, a bunt pan. So I'll put it in that and uh, I'll cook it up that way. Uh, Susan, she told me to try that. She says, if you're a chocoholic, you'll like this. And I probably will. It'll probably be uh, really rich and really sweet. But it'll be one of those cakes or bunts, whatever you want to call it, that you just take a little piece because that'll be enough. And I'm not going to put any kind of uh, um, uh, icing on it. It's just going to be a chocolate, 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 chocolate cake mixed in with pudding. Chocolate. Okay? So, uh, I'll let you know how that is. I might even take a picture of it when it's done and flipped over real nice. And uh, I'll tell you how it tastes. And if it tastes good, I'll, I'll give you my ingredients. In the meantime, you can go to your local uh, food store and get two cakes. Get the, the chocolate cake and get the chocolate pudding cake and mix those two together and try it out, okay? If you're a chocoholic like me, all right. And maybe uh, maybe this weekend I'll get some uh, strawberries and I'll have Carol melt down the uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips and dunk my strawberries in and that'll be my Valentine's present to me. All right, that's enough of the babbling going on here. Uh, what am I at? Uh, I'm almost at 10 minutes here. So uh, it's a short video today. I just babble on so you can enjoy your coffee with me. Thanks for inviting me into your house or having me at your place uh, 
of employment, wherever you're at today, and maybe commuting down in New York City or whatever you're doing, and you got your earbuds in and you're watching the old man just jibber jabber while you're relaxing and enjoying your coffee. So I'll talk to all of you later on. Have a great day today. Have a great weekend. Let me know what the weather's like in your neck of the woods, what your plans are for the weekend, and uh, whatever else you might have going on, okay? My brother, uh, my youngest brother, Roy, Roy Warsnikowski, he's got a birthday coming up soon in February here. Uh, I got his card. I got to get it out in the mail to him. So uh, if any of you know my brother, Roy, and you're friends with him, uh, somewhere around the 18th, I think it is, he'll be, uh, I think he's turning 60. My baby brother's getting old. Yes, he is. Wish him a happy birthday and tell him that his brother, his oldest brother, Ralph, said, Nostrovian cheers. Okay, I'll talk to you later on. God bless you. In three, I'm going to punch you out. All right? So smile for me. Now, here we go. One, two, smile. Smile real big. And remember, you are awesome. Take care. Here we go. Smile.